Jaron, you guys are five and one and tied for the lead in the Big 12. What's it say about where you guys are right now and what you've accomplished? Um, I just say the job's not finished. Um, we've we've worked hard to, to be in this per position, but uh, we can't worry about that now. Got to keep pushing, head towards Oklahoma State. How were you guys able to win a really physical, emotionally charged game tonight? Trust our habits. Trust our daily habits every single day. Um, we work hard. We put the work in. We wake up early mornings. Um, we're there. You know, we put the work in. We we earn this. We deserve this because of our daily habits every single day. Gabe, I know back in the summer you said you were really looking forward to this game. Did it deliver? Oh, yeah, most definitely. It definitely delivered. The fans were amazing out there. Um, they definitely brought the um, Hilton Magic um, into the building uh, before tip-off during the whole game, whole 40 minutes. So, I mean, I know I felt it. I know I know Jaron, he felt it too. I know the whole team felt it. So. Um, the fans did an amazing job, and I mean, we, we gave them a show, and we came out with the victory. So um, that's big for us. Definitely felt it. That was that was unreal. The fans here are unreal. The whiteout was insane. I didn't expect it. Um, I was talking about it with Gabe, but he said, "No, it's gonna be crazy." And I just didn't expect it to be like that. <laughs> Surreal. I mean, it, it almost felt like an NBA playoff game. <laughs> I would say like that intense. The fans were on the edge of their seats, standing up. Um, it shows the love and passion that you know this great university and these great fans have for us, and it showed today. And we're just thankful to um, have them supporting us. Uh, Gabe, there was a couple familiar faces out there for you. How do you just make sure your emotions don't get out of hand in a game like this? I uh, just stick to the team. Not really worry about um, what's going on with them. Um, Coach did a good job of just saying, like, just continue just to be come together um, and not really worry about the outside noise or all the stuff that's going outside um, outside our team. Uh, the more together we are, uh, the more together we are during the stretch and um, during tough times, um, that's why we pulled through and that's why we were a unit. And you see um, kind of the other team kind of go get apart and um, kind of bicker back and forth on one another. And we just did a good job of being composed and, and um, as a unit. Gabe, Jaron described it as intense and like a NBA playoff game. There was a point where you, I think, said something to Tyrese. We saw Caleb tell Texas to call a timeout. How do you channel that intensity into those moments to for your benefit? Uh, you just, I mean, you just gotta let your emotions show a little bit, but not to where like you're getting you're getting yourself out of your comfort zone and to where the refs see that and then try to make something out of it. So just do a good job of showing your emotions to to feed into the crowd and let the crowd get into it even more. But you know, just doing a good job of being composed and saying that yeah, we've been there, but you know, like but we're here and we're we're ready to fight. It was a bit of a rocky start. <coughs> How much did the crowd play a factor into getting back on track? How much was it coaching? I think a lot of it was um, just to continue, like I said, to continue to play together. Um, but they, it was a little rocky start at the beginning, but just continue just to keep fighting. Um, they, we knew that they were going to throw a punch. Then we knew that they were that they were going to be ready to play um, with all the hype going around before the game. But um, we did a great job with just staying together and not really wavering about um, their runs and just playing our ball and just continuing to grind them um, to, the, to, the, to the, le the rest of the 40 minutes. Gabe, what were you able to do for most of the night to make Marcus Carr uncomfortable? <laughs> Um, I think it wasn't just me. I think uh, the whole team did a good job of um, blacking the ball screens. Um, our post did a great job of making them uncomfortable, but shrinking the gaps. Um, we knew that he wanted to get to his stuff, and he was going to get to a shot when he wanted to at late shot clock. So just getting in the gaps and making him try to give it up, but he didn't really want to do that. He wanted to um, make make the shot and get that shot. So I think we all did a great job as a team. Um, but I mean, I played with them before. I kind of know his tendencies. I kind of know where, where he wants to go and where he wants to get to. So just being in his, in his is in his junk is, is all I could really ask for to, to make it a hard night for him. I think Tyrese made three of his first four shots and then didn't make another one in the last 30 minutes of the game. What maybe changed in that span? <coughs> I mean, we, I would just say that, you know, we just stuck to what we what we do every day. Um, didn't change anything. We just had to do things better, you know. Um, and we just had to lock in a little bit more um, and just fight a little bit harder. Uh, we knew they were going to come out with a punch. This is they're a good team. Um, this is an intense game. It's a lot of you know. It's a lot of 
you know, competitive people over there on that side, and there's a lot of competitive people on this side. So, you know, you knew it was going to be a fight and it's going to be a war, but, you know, you just got to be able to take some of those punches and stay in the fight. And, you know, like I said, like you brought up, um, credit to GK. I mean, can we just talk about, like, day in, day out, he guards the best player on each team. And that's that's a fact. And, you know, he, I see him put the work in, and it's amazing. Um, <clears throat> I didn't realize it, you know, in the summer when he was guarding me, but uh, it was a little tough. Uh, but it ultimately made me a better basketball player. You know, he the way he understands defense and what he does for us as a unit is remarkable. Um, sacrificing his body, guarding the best player every single game, um, is truly special, and I'm I'm proud to see that. Um, you know, those things are you know happening for him. It's a good thing to see, especially him being my roommate and all. Appreciate you, know, Jay. I got uh, I got first dibs, you know. <laughs>